Hello beautiful people. Today, we will design an advanced but easy to follow gaming thumbnail design with Photoshop. You can also use the free PhotoP if you don't have Photoshop. Before starting, let's talk about today's sponsor, OwnPro. OwnPro is the ultimate place to get professionally made stream overlays and streaming tools to take your live streaming to the moon. No matter what your niche is, OwnPro got you covered. They have the most extensive and largest collection of a total of 600 plus premium stream overlays, packages, alerts, and more. Another thing, they also have copyright free music to choose from. So, ready to step up your live streaming career and stand out from the crowd, Own Pro may be your place to go. Use the link in the description box below and use the code EMSQ at the checkout to get 50% off when you are ready to upgrade. Back to the video. Create a new project with 1920 by 1080 resolution. Use 72 for DPI. I have imported the subject PNG and a map from the game. Press Ctrl plus T to enable the transform tool. Then you can move, rotate the subject as your wish. Select the map layer and press Ctrl plus U, drag the lightness to a lower number, also make it a little bit desaturated. Once done, go to Filter, then select Motion Blur and choose Motion Blur. Keep the settings as default, it will give the background both blurry and motion look. Select the text tool and click anywhere in the canvas, write down your title. I will keep all the words in a different text layer to get more flexibility while editing. I am using a free font from Google. In the description box below, check the link to the blog post to download the resources. Keep the text in this organized way. Don't make all the text look the same. Make the main words bigger and keep the props smaller. Once done, hold shift and select the text layer. Right-click the text area and choose Skew. If you place your cursor in the middle anchor points, you will see a new icon. If you drag the point up, the text will go up. It's time to colorize the texts. Select any text and double-click the text layer. It will enable the layer style panel. Choose a gradient color and add a thick stroke with the primary color. Select the shape tool and draw a rectangle shape. Use the same thing to skew the box as well. Try to match it with the text.
Add a nice gradient to this box as well. Create a new layer by clicking the plus icon on top of the map layer. Press B on your keyboard to enable brush, right click the canvas area and make the brew software with 0% hardness. Hold down ALT to bring the color picker tool and click your desired color. Now, when you want to get those lights coming from the sides, just brush on those sides. Use soft light as a blending option. Do the same thing for the other one as well. It will give the overall game a look at the gaming thumbnail. Again create a new layer and select the polygonal lasso tool to draw some abstract designs. Make sure you have first picked the color you want in the fill color options. Now draw some shapes like this and join the endpoint to the first one. It will make the selection and while the new layer is selected, press Ctrl plus Backspace. It will fill the selected area to the color you have selected earlier. Select Hard Light as the blending mode. It will make it look less bold than the main subject and text. I will also add a simple brush stroke on the last text and a Gaussian blur filter. It will make the text glow. Finally, select the subject layer. Go to filter and choose camera raw filter. From there, I will increase the exposure and other settings. But will make the blacks darker to have a nice contrasted look. In the end, I will increase the clarity slider to the right side to give the subject more focus. Create a duplicate of the subject layer by pressing Ctrl plus J. Then add a gradient color on top of the layer. As you can see, it's shown all over the place. To prevent this, right-click the gradient layer and select Clipping Mask. It will keep the overlay in between the copied subject layer. 
choose Color Dodge for the blending option. I will be manually creating the cross shapes with the polygonal lasso tool, and will make it glow, so it pops up. You can follow my settings for the best results. Add another abstract shape. I will be adding a halftone texture overlay that I have downloaded from Envato Elements. It will give the overall design a rustic vibe. For more depth to the design, I will add Photoshop icons and Valorant icons. It will make the overall design stand out more than the crowd. The process is simple. Just add a Gaussian blur effect to the far elements. Once you are done, make the fill option to 0% and add a stroke effect to the logo. It will keep the trendy look.
At last, select a hard brush and make it smaller. Then draw the arrow and lines as you want. Remember to make it less crowded. Use the arrow only to focus on some specific parts. To export the thumbnail, go to File, then Export, then select Save As. Choose PNG and uncheck the transparency options. If your design is more than 2 MB, use JPG because YouTube allows only 2 MB maximum size for thumbnail. You can see the total size on the left side. And there you go. Now go and create your own awesome gaming thumbnail design with Photoshop. Check out my other stream design tutorials made for beginner to advanced users. Catch yours in the next one, peace.